Hello guys, I am Dr. Shoha Mukherjee and welcome back to my channel. Are you confused by all those circles, squares and lines in the pedigree charts? Don't worry, you are not alone. Whether you are preparing for FMG or NEET PG, mastering pedigree analysis is a must for acing patho questions in the exam. This video will break it all down. Autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, x linked patterns, everything you need to crack those image based questions with confidence. So let's start it. So whenever you are solving a pedigree chart, First, see the options. Here the options are autosomal recessive, X-linked dominant, X-linked recessive and mitochondrial inheritance. So, you have to find what options are given, Mendelian or non-Mendelian. This is both in the options. Now, there are only two non-Mendelian options which are possible to come in the exam. Mitochondrial inheritance which is already given in the option and the other is gonadal mosaicism. These are the only two options which are like possible to be found on a pedigree chart. Now, how to differentiate between Mendelian and non-Mendelian on the pedigree chart? So, this is the pedigree. By seeing the ratio in which children get affected. First, you have to see the ratio in which the children get affected. In non-Mendelian, if, like, if the couple have three children, all have the same probability of getting involved. Suppose if the couple has six children or five children, all the children will have the same probability of getting involved. Wherever in Mendelian, there is like the ratio is 2 out of 4 or 1 out of 4. That will always be in a ratio. Here, this couple has a disease. Like here, the father is, has the disease. Out of the 4 children, out, this couple has 4 children. Out of the 4 children, only 2 got affected. Again, here mother has the disease. This couple also has 4 children and out of the 4 children, 2 got affected. So, it's coming in a ratio. Only 2 are involved. So, when only two are involved out of four, this mitochondrial inheritance option is ruled out because it's a non-Mendelian and a non-Mendelian, all the children has the probability of getting affected. Also, non like mitochondrial inheritance means only mother has the ability of transmitting the disease. Father cannot transmit the disease. But here, you can see that the father is diseased and the father is transmitting the disease. So, again, this D option is ruled out. So, you can cut the D option. Now you have three options, autosomal recessive, X-linked dominant and X-linked recessive. Now you have to find out if the pedigree is dominant or recessive. In dominant you have autosomal dominant and X-linked dominant, in recessive you have autosomal recessive and X-linked recessive. So you have to differentiate whether it is dominant or recessive. How can you find out that? If the parent is involved and like here the parent is involved, so at least one child should be involved. You can see the parent is involved, one parent is involved and at least one child is involved. Again, you have to reverse this. Suppose if a child is having the disease, at least one of the parents should be having the disease. You can First, you can find out the parent is involved and at least one child is involved. Again, reverse the situation. One child is involved and at least one parent is involved. So, if both these patterns, like if both these are proven, one parent is involved, one child is involved and vice versa. One child is involved and one parent is involved. If both these are proven, then it's dominant. If not, then it's recessive. So, what's the dominant option you have in the question? It's X-linked dominant. Now, suppose if, if you have like here the only option is X-linked dominant, so it is the correct answer. Now, if suppose if you have the option autosomal dominant also in the question. So, how to differentiate? It's autosomal dominant autosomal dominant or X-linked dominant. How to differentiate between the two dominants? So, you have to first check the diseased father. In the whole chart, find out a diseased father who is married to a normal mother. Here you can find out this is a diseased father who is married to a normal mother. And this diseased father gives disease only to like to only and all the daughters. Here you can find out this is a diseased father married to a normal mother and he is giving the, like passing on the disease to daughters and only the daughters, not to the sons. Then it's X-linked dominant. Otherwise, it has the probability of becoming autosomal dominant. So how to differentiate? I am repeating once again how to differentiate between X-linked dominant and autosomal dominant. In the whole chart, find out if diseased father and check if he is married to a normal mother. So this is the case. Then you have to find out the father is transmitting the disease to all the daughters and only the daughters. Like both these conditions have to be proven. Only the daughters and all the daughters. Both these conditions are fulfilled, then it's X-linked dominant. Otherwise, it has the probability of becoming autosomal dominant. 
so i hope it has become much more easier if you have any doubts you can write down in the comment section and if you want the pdf and all the explanation which i have done in the video you can comment down in the section like you can comment down pdf and i will provide you the pdf